Wow, my stomach is really cramping. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. OMG, this is not good. My poop is black and tarry. I need to call 911 right away. I need to go to the hospital. Patient on the phone with 911. Hi, I'm at home and I just went to the bathroom and my poop was black and I think something is wrong. We'll be right there. Hello ma'am, I am transport man, Mr. McDreamy, and I am here to take you to the emergency room at St. Mary's. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Patient arrives to the hospital. Hello Tina, so tell me what brings you in. Well, I just started having these really bad abdominal cramps and I was kind of feeling a little weak and dizzy. Yesterday before I went to bed, I puked and it looked like coffee grounds. Now this morning, I went to the bathroom and my poop was black I knew immediately this was not good and I needed to call 911. This is definitely a concern. I'm going to get a doctor immediately. Nurse comes back into the room with the doctor. Hello, Tina. I'm going to be your doctor today. I just spoke with your nurse and from the symptoms you described, it sounds to me like you may be having some gastrointestinal bleeding. <gasps> this is when your stomach acid eats away at your stomach or your mucous membrane lining and it causes internal bleeding. But before we quickly start running tests on you, are you on any medications I should know about? Yes, since you asked, I take aspirin every single day for basic aches and pains. And when in my younger years I used to smoke and my job is also very stressful. All of these things can contribute to internal bleeding, especially the aspirin. Let me quickly get your vitals and assess some other things. Nurse notices that the patient has a slight fever, has cool, clammy, pale skin, tachycardia, a weak pulse, slow calf refill, and distended abdomen. Nurse tells patient of her findings and notifies the doctor. Hi Tina, back again. We're going to have to take you down for an endoscopy to look at your stomach and get a vision of the bleeding that's going on. We're going to have to put you under twilight anesthesia and then we place a scope down your throat to get a glimpse at your throat and your stomach and look for any bleeding. And then if we see anything abnormal, we'll let you know about that too. We're going to have to take some blood from you so we can check your blood cells, your electrolytes, how well you're clotting, and all this is going to help us determine how bad the bleed is. Before we go down for tests, do you have any questions for me? No, doctor. Thank you for your help. I just hope this goes okay. It will. Don't worry. Doctor performs endoscopy and confirms gastric bleed and determines it is because of repeated NSAID use and excessive stress. The doctor, nurse, and patient work together to formulate interventions taken for the client. So t let's talk about your aspirin use, Tina. You're going to have to switch to another medication for pain relief. If you continue the aspirin, which I do not recommend, it is very important that you do not drink alcohol or smoke while you take it. Reducing your stress is also going to be key in controlling this bleed. The more stress you have, the more likely you are to get ulcers. We're going to have to monitor you closely for the next couple days, and I'm going to put you on a ulcer medication, and we'll see what else we can do for you. Doctor and nurse talk in the hallway. So I want to run 0 0.9 normal saline and maybe a liter of blood, depending on what her CBC results are. I'll let you know. I'm going to put in an order for that anti-ulcer medication. Also, please keep a close eye on her BUN levels. The nurse also knows that she needs to closely assess any vomit or stool for signs of blood. This will also help establish a baseline on the patient's condition. The CBC will tell us how the bleeding is affecting the patient. Continuation of the blood levels will let us know if there is any improvement. The nurse also notes that the, she must monitor the BUN levels because significant hemorrhages break down proteins which results in elevated BUN. Nurse comes back in to check on the patient on discharge day. Now that we've started you on, on an ulcer medication, can you tell me what we've talked to you about as far as signs and things to look out for and ways to prevent the problem from occurring again? In four to six weeks, I should have no more upper GI bleeding and no more abdominal pain. I will have balanced fluids and I need to work on controlling my stress. If I notice more blood I ha or have severe persistent cramping, I will come back in. I will pay close attention to my poop and make sure that there is no more blood. That's great. Can you tell me how you plan on decreasing stress? And what about your daily use of aspirin? My job creates a lot of stress in my life, but maybe I can try to spend more time with my pets 
and doing activities I enjoy outside of work. I can keep I can't keep taking aspirin every day because it increases my chance of getting another ulcer. Maybe I can take something else um, for my pain like non-pharmacological ways. Wonderful. It sounds like you are confident on what to do. If you ever have any questions or concerns, I want you to call us, okay? In the meantime, avoid irritating foods and beverages and avoid taking NSAIDs. And be on the lookout for any of the dangerous signals that you have experienced earlier. We will see you in a week for your follow-up appointment. Thank you so much for all your help. I will see you soon.